What I'd like to do now is protect my form. I want the user to be restricted in what they can do above the word message and that they can only use the content controls I've created for them. But below the word message I want them to be able to freely do whatever they want to do. At the moment when I look at my status bar my document is one section. What I'd like to do is break this page into two sections. One section will be protected and one section will be unprotected. I'll click below the word message and from the page layout tab in the ribbon I'll click the breaks button. And what I want to insert is a continuous section break which causes no change to my document but actually breaks this page into two sections. So I'll click continuous. When I now look at my status bar I am sitting in section 2 but when I click above the word message I'm sitting in section 1. So I have two sections. I'll be able to protect the top section so the user is restricted and unprotect the bottom section. In order to protect this form I'm going to the developers tab in the ribbon and in the protect group I'll click the button restrict editing. I'll then in this task pane here tick the option allow only this type of editing in this document and I'll change no changes to filling in forms. Immediately word has picked up there's more than one section in this document so I'm going to click select sections. What I'd like to do is protect section 1 and unprotect section 2 and I'll click OK. To complete the restriction I'll then click this button yes start enforcing protection. I'll click this button and optionally I can put a password so I'm going to put the password earth all in lowercase. I'll then re-enter it to be sure that I did enter the spelling correctly and I'll click OK. The user is now restricted as to what they can do in the top part of the document, section 1. They can choose the particular fields but they can't choose anything else. But below message they can enter any text they like. If you need to change this particular form you'll have to unprotect the form. On the task pane that resides on the right of your screen is a stop protection button. If I click the stop protection button I have to provide the password so I'll type earth or in lower case and click OK. I could then change my document in any way I liked and then I can reinforce or re-protect my document by clicking the yes start enforcing protection button. So I'll re-protect my document. Again I'll give it the password earth and re-enter it and OK and I've re-protected my document. I can even close this task pane so the user can't see it and we've created a form, a protected form.